Hey guys, welcome to another episode about Docker. In today's episode I'm going to teach you how to create and how to install your own Docker image. And for the purpose of this episode I'm going to use Python programming language but you can use any programming language that you like. And I'm going to use Visual Studio Code but you don't actually need any IDE. In the matter of fact I'm going to teach you how to use Visual Studio Code for Docker. But final project we are going to deploy through SSH to my Ubuntu server. So in order to deal with Docker with Visual Studio Code, uh, go first uh, to your extensions and make sure that you have this extension installed. It's Microsoft extension with uh, 34.6 million installations and 4.5 stars at the moment. When you have this extension installed, go to your explorer and in here I'm going to create only one file. So I'm going to call it main.py. And my application is going to be simple for this episode. I just want to print something out. So with print. All right, save this. And now go to a sidebar. If you have properly installed uh, this extension, you are going to see Docker button. Click on it, uh, then open a Docker extension of Voltru. Go to add uh, Docker files to workspace and uh, click on add docker files now i'm going to select uh, python because uh, i'm using python programming language for this project and i have one file main.py include optional docker uh, compose files yes all right and now go back to your explorer you are going to have all of these files we are actually going uh, to need only two we are going to need a docker file and main.py and for this episode what is truly important is to understand what you have in docker file so first line from python column uh, three dash slim this means that we are uh, using a python image this is a base for our project and uh, 3.slim uh, it's actually image of our distribution and if you want to check other images please check docker hub now with this option we are preventing python uh, from uh, creation of uh, .pyc files with this line we are turning off buffer and this is what is actually really important you see that we have two copy commands with this second copy command, we are saying that we are going to copy uh, everything from our local directory to dash app directory. This dot means our local directory, so this directory. And this dash app, it's actually internal Docker directory from where our application is going to run. And with work there, we are setting uh, that very same internal directory forward slash app as working directory for our application. But what is this? Why, is, uh, why are these two commands important? Because in requirements uh, txt, we are going to list uh, all of required libraries for this application to run. And with second command, we are going to uh, run python pip in order to install all of those libraries to our container. Because as you know, every container holds all of necessary elements, meaning all of dependencies for our application to run. With this second run command, we are going to create user to our internal system, meaning internal system of our container. That user is going to be named app user, and we are going to add ownership uh, of uh, app directory to that very same user. With user app user, uh, we are uh, setting app user as user of our application. And now with CMD that stands for command, we are setting commands of what we are going to execute when we uh, run our Docker image. So we are going to use Python and we are going to execute main.py. All right, if all of that is clear, I'm going to uh, open my terminal. All right, first with pwd, I'm going to print my local directory and I'm going to create another directory in here with mkdir. I'm going to name it my docker image and I'm going to navigate to it. My docker image and now with nano I'm going to create file docker file. I'm going to go back to my Visual Studio code and I'm going to copy all of this. 
paste but now what we have to do we need to remove uh, these two lines because we are not going to have any requirements all right i'm going to write this out going out and with uh, nano main dot py I'm going to uh, create this Python file again, so I'm just going to type it again. All right, write it out, going out. And we have everything that we need now in order to build our Docker image. So in order to build Docker image, I'm going to use sudo docker build command t in order to give it name so my docker image and final argument it's dot uh, dot actually means that uh, we are going to use this local directory as source for our documents or better to say place where our files are located and i'm going to press enter and we are done so now i'm going to use uh, sudo docker image ls yeah we have my docker image and as you can see uh, this docker image it's uh, of 130 megabytes in size that is because every docker image contains all of dependencies that application needs in order to run now in order to run this image i'm going to use sudo docker run and i'm going to provide name of this image so my docker underscore image all right hey this is my first docker image and in order to remove it i'm going to use sudo docker image remove and i'm going to provide name of it so my docker image Ah, yes, we have to force it. So I'm going to add another key, F. All right. And now if I uh, list my images again, sudo docker image ls, you see, there is no more my docker image. Uh, so guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you learned something new and interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.